M08 Nation, are you ready to learn about weather services? What's going on M08 Nation? It's Matthew, I'm here with Martin. Let's talk weather services. No matter if you're prepping for your instrument check ride or you're a private pilot planning a cross country, there's always something new we can learn and uncover about weather and weather services. To start off the discussion, in this mock check ride May, let's jump into some weather questions that you might face during your check ride to see how well you do. First question, what distance from the center of the airport is a TAF or Terminal Aerodrome Forecast valid? If you said five static miles, you got it. A TAF is a concise statement of expected meteorological conditions significant to aviation for a specific airport, covering an area within 5 statu miles of the airport's runway complex or terminal. The TAFs use some of the same weather codes found in METAR weather reports and can be found and viewed on any weather services tool like aviationweather.gov, ForeFlight and 1-800-WX-BRIEF. TAFs are issued four times daily and are typically valid for either 24 or 30 hours, depending on the issuing airport. When planning a flight, pilots rely on TAFs to anticipate future conditions like visibility, ceiling, precipitation and wind trends. Now, let's test your knowledge on some common TAF abbreviations. I'll show you a symbol and you guess what it means. Are you ready? First up, VC. VC stands for vicinity, meaning weather conditions occurring within the vicinity of the reporting station. Next, WSHFT. This stands for wind shift, indicating a significant change in wind direction over a short period of time. How about when you see this? That means calm winds. And lastly, VRB. This last code is variable winds, meaning the wind direction is not consistent. When it comes to checking the weather, always make sure you're using a mix of official sources like aviationweather.gov and 1-800-WX-BRIEF. One great tip I always share with my students is to read the forecast discussion. While the METARs and TAFs are packed with symbols and shorthand, the forecast discussion gives a broader, more detailed analysis in plain English. This can give you insight into why the forecast looks the way it does, potential uncertainties and overall weather trends for your flight. At the end of the day, understanding the weather services isn't just about passing a check ride, it's about safety. A thorough weather briefing can mean the difference between a smooth flight and an unexpected diversion. Next time you're applying a flight, Take the extra few minutes to really dig into the data, look beyond just meters and tabs, and get the whole picture. Continue to practice obtaining and reading a weather brief. It will make you a safer, smarter, and more prepared pilot. MCOA offers great help with checkride prep with a series of books called Pass Your Private Pilot Checkride, Pass Your Instrument Checkride, and Pass Your Commercial Pilot Checkride. There is truly something for every pilot. The book covers weather theory and weather services extensively, what you need to know to pass your practical test and become a safer, smarter pilot.